Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Year in Review Regional Roundtable Series, brought to you by the Employment Law Alliance, the world's largest network of labor and employment lawyers from the best law firms around the globe. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Employment Law Alliance blog. My name is Esteban Vaquero from Perez Bustamante Ponce in Ecuador, and today I will be providing an overview of the 2022 regulations and what to expect for 2023. 2022 was a year with fewer changes compared to 2020 or 2021. One of the major issues, however, was that the Congress tried to abolish the Humanitarian Aid Organic Law enacted during the pandemic. Specifically, the Congress wanted to dispose of the special emerging contract created under said law. The latter is relevant because this contractual figure has enabled a certain degree of flexibility that has been of huge importance for creating new jobs and strengthening the post-pandemic economy. Fortunately, this bill was vetoed by the President of Ecuador. This in turn has caused a temporary respite for employers as they can use the contractual figure at least up until mid-2023. The Congress is expected to resume their discussions in June 2023. In addition to, bear in mind that by the end of 2022, the Ministry of Employment issued some important regulations. The most significant was the one regarding remote work by creating ground rules that give the employee the right to disconnect from their job. And that was basically 2022. Now I have some predictions for 2023. Generally speaking, I believe that this will be a year of change. For instance, just a few weeks ago, the Congress enacted two important labor laws. One was the violent economy law that includes several provisions to promote diversity, equity, and protection for women. The other one was the law that aims to promote jobs for young people between ages 18 to 29. It is also possible that the Ministry of Employment will set forth more regulations to allow flexibility of the working time. Additionally, the President of Ecuador may try to reintroduce his labor bill, and we also anticipate that the Congress will be discussing some relevant bills that are currently in a standby. For instance, they are expected to discuss the bill proposed by the working unions to mend most of the current labor code. There is also a bill regarding delivery apps that may have important effects on its users and companies themselves. Wrapping up, I expect to see more flexibility in working shifts in 2023. Substantial discussions are expected to take place regarding labor leads, and I believe that there is a great chance that the Congress will ultimately abolish the special emerging contract. If you would like more information about this, you can find my bio in the description below. Thank you for watching our Employment Matters blog. Remember to subscribe for current insights and updates on important global labor and employment topics presented by the Employment Law Alliance.